All right, hey everybody, how's it going? This is Dave from Idle Hands. Welcome, and it has been a minute and a half since I've been um, on the channel, uh, but glad to be back. I'm glad to have you here, and uh, as always, love you guys and the support that you show the the channel and for myself. And um, and I know this is like uh, <laughs> technically the 10th uh, episode into the series, um, but like I said, it's been a while since um, since I've been been playing. Um, yeah, so uh, we are going to be uh, focusing because this game is like actually quite large. <laughs> it's a lot bigger than what I thought it was. And um, and I want to finish it because it's an awesome, awesome game. And, oh gosh, Mongol territory. I didn't realize we were jumping into Mongol territory here. I, uh, I actually just want it. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, you can't really see it. Uh, just beyond these trees is a lighthouse. And that's what I was going for <laughs> to go to go light and um, but apparently we're gonna be stumble we just stumbled into some Mongols so let's but I'm not seeing any Mongols uh, so there okay so there's the lighthouse I just wanted to check on that to make sure that because we're supposed to light them. And I think I have like maybe four lit? I think there's like eight or something like that? I don't know. But uh, that's that's primarily what I wanted to do. But listen, let me just... Um, let me just tell you what we're going to do. So we're going to focus on like the main storylines uh, moving forward. And once the game is complete, I'll... You know, I mean... You know, we might hit some random side quests but there's like a bajillion of those so i want to mainly focus on these gold which i believe move the story along the main story and then i want to probably uh will record uh these blue ones which i think give me special um what is it techniques or something what is it? Oh, wait. Yeah. It sees Mythic Tales. And I believe... I believe they give me something <laughs> besides what they're showing there. Um, yeah, so these three we're definitely going to be hitting next. Because we're recruiting, uh, we're recruiting people to try to take back the uh, the castles. So we've already taken back one. Uh, there's one, the next one we have to take back, and I'm assume, well. There will be at least one more, maybe two more. But this is, uh, I think, those blue ones, um, those blue badges. I think they also give us these different moves. <laughs> like really cool moves. Um, so, yep. Yeah. So, anyways. Uh, yeah, so complete the Undying Flame. Uh, complete the Spirit of uh, Yadikawa's Vengeance. All right. So, um, anyways. We are going to be jumping into this guy right here. First, let's see, which one is this one? Is this? Okay. All right. But at first, I'm going to just check on that. Um... First, uh, we're going to check on the uh, that lighthouse, take out any Mongols, and 
uh, get crazy. Explosive arrows. I need to get some explosive arrows. This is the second uh, task that has asked me to kill people with explosive arrows. And my, um, if you've been watching the other series up to now, I must admit it's been a while since I played the game. I've been playing a little bit, just to kind of remember. <laughs> I play the muscle memory and stuff. All right, Kubata Lighthouse, nice. And uh, but my fighting skills are definitely not what Challenge they me. were. <laughs> so we'll. Oh god. I jumped the gun. Jump the gun. See what I mean? <laughs> like, I would never have, uh. Well, not never, but. Gosh, no, I thought I had him. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, I'm not as... Uh, uh, back in the day, I would have been able to take all those guys out without even blinking twice. But we'll get back there. I'm just glad you guys are here for the ride. Who am I locked in on? Wait a minute. Nothing in here. Oh, nice. Steel. Seeing me, my goodness. Yeah, let's just take this guy out. I don't have any. Yeah, let's assassinate him. Ah. Slice and dice, baby. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Come on, jump it. See ya. Got one point already. I need to spend that. All right. Wow, that was like <laughs> clipping through that wall, baby. Oh, I hate going through these. Okay. There is nothing in here. I'm horrible at remembering which uh, of those tents I've been in to try to get get the goods.
So I don't know exactly what these uh, lighthouses are supposed to do. I remember in the story, they're just like, oh, it's going to show our resolve <laughs> as a people <laughs> or something, you know. Um, so I don't know. So uh, it may not actually really do anything real, but just something to like check off a list, you know what I mean? All right, let's see. There's some stuff over here. Those uh, chimes, which I never use. I don't know if... I guess I should probably start checking those out. Um, really? You didn't let me slide in through there? That's... Kind of lame. All right, let's uh, get up here, and it's probably going to be some yeah, some supplies scattered, peppered here and there. Some chimes, okay, some supplies. Supplies, linen. There's a surprising amount of linen in this game that you pick up. Nice, 38. Alright. Alright, check, check one more down. I guess our resolve as a people have grown. <laughs> Those big, those two billowing smoke stacks, or uh, they're not really smoke stacks, but the smoke going up. I think those are just like really like big, big towns that I still need to take out. And it's pretty cool because like the um, as you get as you get near them. Everything gets kind of like dystopic, <laughs> and uh, it's like all hellish and everything. The smoke and soot in the air and everything, everything like that. Things are burning, you know. All right, we're just gonna fast travel here because I really don't want to walk all the way over there. And then when you clear the uh, clear the town or fortress or whatever, everything. Clears up, the sky gets blue, and the sun is out, and it's uh, it's pretty awesome actually. It really gives you a, a sense of achievement, you know. All right, where are we going? Oh jeez, no, no, too with too. She's over here. Oh, there she is. Bird. I think we're talking to Yuma. I think. I don't know. I don't know who we're talking to. You must be Goro. Uh, we must all be someone. Who must you be? Lord Sakai. Aye, the samurai are all dead. I'm very much alive. But my patience is dying. Lord Shimura asks that you repay your debt to him. He's alive? What does he want? To deliver a message to the mainland. Uh, I charged a lot for that trip, even before the Mongol blockade. You owe my master a debt. This will repay it. Then I have no choice. 
After Komaga Beach, I thought my debt to Lord Shimura was erased. That's why I was drinking. To celebrate your escape? To mourn the samurai. Those warriors died protecting men like me. Hmm? If that's how you feel, find your courage. Help us avenge them. We need a lot more samurai to do that. We'll receive them when you deliver Lord Shimura's message. Hey, this nice. is my home. Come in. I can stop following him. Getting past that Mongol blockade won't be easy. Do you have Lord Shimura's message? He has it. At his camp on the Akashima coast. Ah. I can work with that. One of my boats is hidden near Fort Mitodake. This map shows where I'll wait on the forest road. Right. Open up, Goro! We're not leaving until you pay us what you owe. Shit. I'll deal with them. Get moving. And I'll leave you to <laughs> it. See you in Akishima, Lord Sakai. There's no right. use hiding, Koro. Let's see if they'll just let me straight up we assassinate these there. guys. What no. are you afraid of? I didn't call for Ronin. Oh, my lord. What's your business with Goro? Private. We'll... We'll be back. You'll be dead. <laughs> Alright, meet Lord Shida at his old hunting camp. Alright. Let's see if there's a fast travel nearby. I've cleared out a lot of this map already, so there usually is something someplace pretty close. Which saves a lot of time. Holy cow, like at the beginning of this game, just traveling like some places like took forever. Yeah, especially when uh I feel like a few hundred feet it seemed like uh you'd have a standoff, you know. Or run into Mongol territory, and it's like, oh, jeez. All right, so where are we going? Just, just straight. What? What? Why did they take me off the horse? Do I have a? I have to climb out of here myself? Okay, I'm kind of confused here. What? Wait, what is that? Oh, supplies. Okay, we'll take it. Um... What in the world is this? Okay, I gotta get back to the horse. I don't know what is going on here with this. Trench. But I gotta get out of this trench. Of course, it wouldn't be easy. Okay, come on, what? But I gotta actually get out of here? Okay, that's really weird. Wait, now they're not letting me on the horse? What is going on here? Okay. <laughs> okay, this is stupid. Okay, there's gotta be like... Something for me to... Okay, I'll take supplies, but that's not what I was looking for. I thought that there'd be like a grapple hook or something for me to... Get up on! Okay, let's just... I guess run... out of this place? Alright, let's get the horse over here. Maybe I can... Alright. 
Let's just double check to see where the heck we're going. Okay, it's still... There's a road. Let's take that road. Let's see if we can get to this. There it is. That was really strange. Yes, Lord Shimura. I found Goro in Umugi Cove. Was he drunk? Not anymore. He will fulfill his debt to you and sail for the mainland. He may be unsavory, but few know the sea like Goro. Will these men deliver your message? Precisely. Kotaro and Jiro are loyal and courageous. I will petition the Shogun for reinforcements. Goro is ready. He will meet us nearby, then lead us to his boat. We will ride when the time is right. Take this moment to prepare for battle. Yes, uncle. It is time. To your horses, men. We are ready, my lord. Stay alert oh. and keep watch for our smuggler. Okay. I thought we'd have to, uh... Go get a few more people. All right, where are we going? Are we going? Let's go, Nobu. Never sure when they they are going to. I can always like, tell when you want to ask me something. I'll go to full gallop or not. I'm curious how you met Goro. I caught him selling Chinese silk, forbidden by Shogun decree. I burned his stock and let him go. He defied the Shogun. It was a risk to not punish him harshly. A samurai should always apply the proper force. Too little, and you lose respect. Too much, and you lose opportunity. The Mongols have many ships. Can Goro evade them all? He has no choice. What will we do if they catch us, my lord? Do not fear death, Kotaro. Live with courage, and never forget the people you fight to protect. Lord Shimura! Goro, where is your boat? This way. I'm happy you're alive, my lord. Thank you for agreeing to settle your debt. Uh, I'll do my best. But I fear the Mongols will sink me before I leave the coastline. There are too many eyes watching the water. Perhaps we can direct their attention elsewhere. Dismount. We walk from here. Fort Mitodake. My father took that stronghold from Clan Yarikawa. Now the Mongols have it. Imagine their surprise when two samurai take it back from them. If we make enough noise inside the fort... Mm. The Mongol ship crews will look to it instead of the water. Goro, we will draw the enemy's attention to the fort. Sail when you hear the fighting. My lord, you will be killed! Your only concern is delivering my message. Horses might give us away. We will go on foot. Lord Sakai. Alright. Message in fire! Let's do it. Isn't there a song? Mongol like armies are formidable. But our attack will catch them off guard. Let's, Let's pray that holds up, true up, in the fort. Up, they outnumber us. Up. But they cannot attack all at once. Light How long up, can we up, keep up, the element up. of surprise? Only until we see Light the up, enemy. Yeah. Then. Okay, strike. I'm horrible. <laughs> horrible singer. <laughs> I can hear it in my mind, but I can't sing it very well. At all. <laughs> uh oh. Mongols ahead. All right, we're gonna survey. We could avoid them. Turn your back on a foe, and you will die with a sword stuck in it. We're, oh, we're not gonna survey, okay. We're just gonna jump these guys? Oh, jeez, wow, okay. We're just going for it. Oh, uh, oh, okay, I did get assassination, awesome. 
here. Okay. So yeah. Is that guy gone? <laughs> Are you ready, gotta go. Uncle? And this guy's suffering. Ugh, yeah, right in the spine. Okay. Well, Uncle, jeez. Dodge that guy. I guess it helps if I'm in the right stand. Ah, oh, there's archers. See ya. Leave my uncle alone. Unstoppable! I am proud to fight beside you, Chief. <laughs> See how the enemy fear you. You are a true warrior. Thank you. There's going to be like a hundred guys right there. <laughs> All right, that was a little bit easier than I thought. That's... Watch us! Take cover! Gosh. Uh, oh, gosh. All right, all right. We'll just we gotta get up there. We need to get up there. We need the Mongol ships to focus here, not on Goro. See ya. We got Uncle Jeez. God. Let's do it. Oh, gosh. I didn't even see that black dog. <laughs> I carried 
that. Oh gosh. Oh man. my ankle. That's not good. Oh, gosh. Good progress, I think. Cool, Mongol, go. Killing our own guys. Ah, oh, sweet. Oh, jeez. I was looking to see if there's an archer. I got tagged. How many arrows do these guys have? Jeez Louise. We gotta take that guy out. Seeing ya. <laughs> Who's up there? Oh. Oh, I see. It's not there been long, much longer. There is Goro's boat. We've got the time. But not enough. The Mongols have seen them. And their attack ships are faster. Our men are defenseless. Let's bring no, them down. They have us. Have a watcher. A weapon of the enemy, not samurai. Saving our people is all that matters. You know how to fire this. I'll learn. Destroy <laughs> the Mongol ships. Leave the guards to me. Uncle. We will not die here, my boy. Yeah. See his the Mongols sent boarding parties. Don't let their boats reach Goro. Uh, okay, RT is fire. 
It's working! The Mongol ships are in flames! Move that up! Guru, what has landed? It's kind of like missile command. Oh gosh. I didn't see that guy. Watch us on the shore. Don't slow down, Guru. Okay, all right. Man, this is actually a really fun little mini game. Oh gosh, they're firing from over there. I did not realize that. Because I gotta take out these guys too. Guy. Oh, this guy's still going. Ships on the way. Hold on, go. See ya. This would actually be a fun game. <laughs> it's just in and of itself. Oh gosh. You made us Goro. Bring us the Shogun's help. We did it. I knew we would. You continue to prove the Mongols are not unstoppable. You taught me to fight. I couldn't disappoint you. And you never have. I am proud of the warrior. The man you have become. Jin, my message to the Shogun included an announcement. I wish to formally adopt you as my son. Uncle. In my heart, you have always been the heir to my legacy. When this war ends, we will make it official. One day, our people will look to you as their leader. You will become their honorable Jito, backed by all the power of the Shogun. I hope I can serve them as well as you have. I know you will. We must finish our preparations while we wait for the Shogun's reinforcements. What are your orders? Reclaim your father's armor and recruit the people of Yarikawa. You see how reliable your friend Miri is. I'll meet Yuna and recover my armor from Omi village. When you're ready, meet me at our staging camp in Kuba. Then we will retake my castle from Kotun Khan and save our home. As father and son, the Shogun himself will celebrate our victory. We will meet again soon. Until then, travel safely. That's interesting. Uh, they ended it without uh, a picture behind the kanji writing. Uh, they've always had uh, an image before, like when the uh, quest or whatever starts, and then they always have something at the end. So that's interesting. But. Uh, they definitely have one at the beginning, so that's the one I'm going to use for the uh, thumbnail. <laughs> but anyways, uh, okay, so we're going to wrap this up. I am not sure how long we've been playing. I think it's been a little bit. Um, I don't want these videos to be too terribly long. And I kind of want to, you know, with these ones, since I'm kind of, you know, focusing on just uh, moving the actual story along, uh... Unless they're really, really short, I, I'm probably just going to keep one uh, story per video, I guess. Uh, story 
badge or whatever you want to call it like we did today all right well uh we've got a couple things to do uh i know where i have to go to and then i'm going to meet up with the uncle or i guess we'll call him our dad pretty soon so that's pretty cool <laughs> i guess for for jen all right well uh like i said we're gonna wrap it up and we'll catch you in the next uh video um I think we're gonna I don't know we're, I think we're gonna recruit some people and then and then I think we're gonna head so I think we're talking to a monk or something I think there's a couple different places I have to recruit people and then uh, and then we're heading back to Jin's house I guess his, his home land and reclaim his father's armor which uh, when he was younger I believe he kind of cowardly I mean I don't blame him but he didn't really do much to try to help his dad, and his dad got <coughs> killed like right in front of him. Ah, it was horrible. Anyways, okay, love you guys, and uh, until the next video, stay safe and uh, know that you are appreciated. All right, bye. Oh.